Hey y'all, Wilbur Pearl here. Uh, a lot of things are happening right now. A lot of uh, fear and fright going on. A lot of big changes. Um, and a lot of things ain't changing. They're just static. You're just, it's scary out there right now. Uh, but I wanted to uh, touch bases with y'all and uh, give you some encouraging news about some things that actually aren't changing. Uh, take a look at this video. I don't know if you've seen the White House uh, press conferences. This is from yesterday. Check a look at this. Can you tell us what percentage of the supplies on these large cargo planes are going to private companies versus FEMA versus the so, state? So FEMA is 80 percent. So uh, this product that we're moving is primarily a uh, commercial product that would enter the commercial system and be distributed through uh, financial business transactions between hospitals and these distributors. So just to clarify, that's, that explains why states say they're bidding like they're on eBay, because the supplies are going to the private sector, and then they have to go there to get the supplies. That's, uh, that's, normally, how things, uh, that's normally how things work, right? So I'm, I'm not here to disrupt. Is that not the most exciting thing you've ever seen? I mean, in the middle of all of this, when our system could just be collapsing into damn socialism, here you got capitalism, free market entrepreneurism going on, encouraged by the White House in their response to all this. They don't just, you know, they're not just going to take the ventilators and all that stuff and just send them out to the hospitals where they're needed. No, they're going to go to the middleman. They're going to go to the warehouse. And then the guy's going to make the calls. Go, hey, uh, you know, I got these ventilators. You want it? Well, all right. Well, we can talk about it. We'll have lunch or something. Well, Nevada called and they want some. So maybe they bid more than you did. Hey, let's, uh, why don't you send me a letter? Send me a fax. You know, have your people get together. I mean, they're just like haggling, just like normal. And if it make, takes a little bit more time, I mean, I understand there's people in the hospital. They ain't got ventilators or like fish flopping around on the dock somewhere they can't breathe. But folks, this is America. There's got to be profit made. There's got to be contracts signed. There's got to be haggling. Lunches have got to be had. Emails have got to go back and forth. Those are the things that make America great. If you need a ventilator and you can't hold off until a deal gets made, then maybe your commitment to capitalism ain't all that great. These are lessons we need to be teaching our children. If your neighbors are down and out, gouge them. We got to be really at each other's throat all the time, just ripping and tearing at each other. That's what makes America great. That reminds me of something Jesus said. He said, if you come across a downtrodden man all laid out on the ground, maybe starving to death, step up on his back and use it to reach to the stars, to your dreams, or something like that. I don't know exactly what he said, but it was similar to that. America is about kicking the shit out of each other. It's up to us to keep the great American experiment going by failing to cooperate entirely. And I want y'all just to just remember that ain't nothing changed at all. It's just perfectly the same as it was before, and we ain't doing nothing different. So thanks y'all for listening, and I hope that you have a, a great day. Keep yourself safe out there.